After creating a lot of websites as a freelancer, I get this question many times. How to choose a WordPress theme for our website? And if you are feeling overwhelmed with all the theme options available out there, then in this video, I'll try my best to help you find the best WordPress theme for your website. Now, before we proceed, I would like to mention that all the links, resources and plugins that we are going to use or recommend in this video, we have added the links to all of them in the video description below. So if you want to check out details about any one of them, you can go ahead and check out the link in the video description below and some of the links might be our affiliate links so if you use those links to make your purchase we might earn a little bit of kickback which is not going to cost you anything extra but it's definitely going to help us create more helpful and free content just for you so what is a wordpress theme a WordPress theme is a predefined template that determines a WordPress website's overall appearance layout and functionality now they serve as a visual structure foundation for your website, allowing users to customize the look and feel of their site without doing any coding from scratch. In simple words, you can say that a WordPress theme acts like an outfit for your WordPress website. And if we look under the hood, these themes are made up of files that work together to display your website content in a specific way. Now let's talk about some of the type of WordPress themes that are available. Number one, free themes. Now these are the themes that are available in the WordPress repository that you can go ahead and download from the wordpress.org website or you can install a free theme from your WordPress website backend. And in order to create a basic website, chances are you will be good to go by just using a free WordPress theme. Now some of the examples of free theme are Astra, Cadence WP, Generate Press, Bloxy and lot more. But if in case you need some advanced customization or advanced functionality, then in most cases, these free themes also have a pro plan, which a user can upgrade to. And that brings us to the next category of WordPress themes, that is paid themes. Now paid themes are premium WordPress templates available for purchase from developers or different marketplaces. These themes offer advanced features, customization options and professional design elements beyond what is typically found in a free WordPress theme. Now these premium or paid themes are perfect for established business that are looking for a high quality design, advanced functionality and professional support. Along with that, freelancers and web design agencies will find these premium themes idle for their clients as they are reliable and super rich in features. Now, some of the examples of premium paid themes are Divi theme, Themeify Ultra, Avada and the pro version of Astra, Generate Press, Bloxy and Cadence theme. Now, another category of theme is called classic theme. Now, a classic or traditional theme have been the center of attention for the longest time. They are built via PHP in backend and aren't very easy to customize. Instead, they do offer the customization option in form of various layout configuration in the WordPress customizer or the widget area. Now, these classic themes are idle for experienced WordPress users familiar with traditional WordPress ways of building and managing themes. And most of the free themes that we have just mentioned fall under this classic theme category. Now, in order to do any customization or changes in the look and feel of your website using a classic theme, you need to do all that using the WordPress customizer or adding different widgets in the widget area. And then comes the block themes. Now, these block themes came to the WordPress development world after the launch of full site editing introduced with the WordPress version 6.1. Now these themes provide full site editing capability. You can use the site editor to build every part of your website via HTML based templates made of blocks that can expand the functionality beyond traditional content like posts and pages. Now using these block themes, you can do all the customization and create any type of template for your website. You can edit the header, footer, body template or any section of your website using the native Gutenberg editor. Now these themes might sound perfect for advanced WordPress users, but as a normal non-technical user who is just trying to build their business website, they might find this a little bit overwhelming dealing with all the header footer templates by just using the native Gutenberg editor. So in simple words, we can say that classical themes are for the masses 
and the block themes are for the very specific classes of the users. Then comes the next category of themes that is called niche themes. And these are the themes that are specifically built for a particular industry. Like there is a separate theme which can be used only for blogging or if there is a separate theme which can only be used for creating an e-commerce store. So if you have a very specific requirement for which you need to build a WordPress website, you can consider these type of themes as well. And then comes the next category that is multi-purpose themes. And these are the themes that are easy to adaptable to various websites and industries. They offer a broad feature and functionality often achieved through drag and drop builders or built-in layouts. Now these themes are very flexible and allowing user to create any kind of website as they want. And then comes the most powerful themes that are page builder themes. Now these themes comes with a powerful design tools that brings a new level of ease and customization in building WordPress website without the need of writing any code. Whatever changes or customization you do while building your website, you can see the changes happening in the real time. These themes are easy to use and often come with a ready-made design to help you get started really fast. Graphic designers and creatives will find these themes idle for creating highly customizable and visually appealing designs with minimal effort. And one of the examples of a page builder theme is Divi. Divi is a powerful and versatile page builder with a drag and drop interface. It offers a wide range of pre-designed templates and modules, making it super easy to create visually stunning and highly customizable websites without any knowledge of coding. Divi is known for its user interface and extensive design options, including animations, custom CSS, and global elements. And along with that, you can use Divi AI to create some amazing looking web pages in just a few seconds. And not just web pages, you will be able to generate some amazing looking images as well as content using Divi AI for your WordPress website. <laughs> Now finding a perfect WordPress theme can feel overwhelming with so many options available. There are several platforms to explore when searching for your idle WordPress theme. So let's talk about some of the sources of WordPress themes. When we talk about the free WordPress themes, then there is no better place other than the WordPress repository itself. You can go ahead and visit the WordPress directory and download the theme from there. Or the easiest way is to search a theme in your WordPress backend only. And then you can install these free WordPress themes from your website backend itself. Another place to find a good quality WordPress theme are these commercial marketplaces. Now chances are on these marketplaces, you will be able to find only the paid themes. Some of the example of these websites are Themeify, ThemeForest, Template Monster or Creative Market. Along with these marketplaces, if you want to go with a premium or paid theme, I would highly recommend that you visit the developer's website itself to get the pro version. For example, in order to get the theme, you can visit elegantthemes.com. In the same way, for any other paid theme, you can go ahead and visit their official website and from there you can get the best deals. Along with that, you can also be rest assured that you have downloaded a clean file without any malware or hidden viruses. <laughs> Now the number one factor before you choose any WordPress theme is if the theme fits your website purpose or audience. Now while choosing a WordPress theme, it's not just about aesthetics. It's about creating a website that resonates with your target audience and effectively achieve your website goals. This alignment ensures that your site looks good and serve its intended function effectively. You need to ask yourself that what is the main objective of your site? If your primary goal is to share articles, stories and personal insights, you need a theme emphasizing on readability. So for that, you need to make sure that the WordPress theme you are choosing got a clean layout and a good typography and it also supports various post formats. Now the next factor that you need to consider before choosing a theme is the cost of it. Now you can go ahead and create any kind of website using a free theme. But if you are planning to go with the premium theme, then you need to compare the cost of various themes that are available in the market and then check which one suits best for your budget and which theme is providing the best feature in the proposed price. Next, you need to look for design and layout options. Now, whatever theme you are going to choose, you need to make sure that your chosen theme should be visually appealing and align with your brand's overall style. As a website owner, you must prioritize the message you want to convey. For example, if you are creating a portfolio or a photography website, you need a clean and minimal looking theme. 
On the other hand, if you are creating a child store, then you need some bold colorful theme. Next factor that you need to consider is the theme performance. Now a website's visual appeal is important, but performance is another crucial factor. No matter how good looking your theme is, if it is not performing well for your visitors, then it's of no use. Your visitors are going to bounce back and you're going to get a drop in the search engine rankings as well. And that brings us to the next point that is SEO readiness. Now make sure that the WordPress theme that you are going to choose allows you to enter some meta information that is good for ranking in search engines. Along with that, it should be compatible with the search engine optimization plugins that you can install later on while developing your website. And next comes the security and support. Now, no matter you go with a free theme or a paid one, you need to make sure that you are getting the WordPress theme from a reputed developer. And if you are going for a premium theme, then you should definitely check what's the quality of support you are getting after you purchase is the pro version of that theme because sooner or later you might want to contact the support team to get your queries resolved and you don't want to wait for ages to get simple answers. Along with that, you should also make sure that the theme that you are going to choose is compatible with other plugins as well. So as mentioned before, no matter you choose a free or a premium theme, make sure you always go with a reputed developer so that you can make sure that the theme which they have created is compatible with all the popular plugins that are required to create a good functional website. So now, once you have decided which theme you want to go with for your WordPress website, Let's see how you can install that on your WordPress setup. So in order to install any theme on your WordPress website, you first need to make sure that you got a reliable website host. And for that, we always recommend SiteGround. Now, in order to get best deals with the SiteGround hosting plans, make sure you click on the link in the video description below. And this is going to take you to the SiteGround website. And here you can just click on get started and choose your suitable plan. So let's say we go with startup plan which starts with $2.99 per month. So let's click on get plan. Now some website hosting company also provide a free domain for first year. And that's the case with SiteGround as well. If you want to book a new domain, you can enter the domain here and then click on continue and you will get a free domain for first year. But in case if you have already purchased your domain, you can go ahead and click on existing domain and then enter your domain name here and then click on continue. So you can enter your existing domain name here and then click on continue. And after that, you will have this checkout page where you first need to enter your account information. So here you can enter your email address, a strong password to create your SiteGround account. And after that, you just need to enter some client information. And after that, we have the payment information where we can enter our card details. And if we scroll down at the very bottom, here we can see the order summary says we are getting this hosting plan for one year for $35.88 only. So you can go ahead and do the payment and complete the checkout process and I'll see you on the other side. Alright, so after booking our hosting provider, it's time to install WordPress on it. Now there are various ways by which you can install WordPress, but thanks to the auto install feature of SiteGround, which helps you install WordPress in just a few clicks. Let me show you how. So once we are done with the purchase of our hosting plan, we will see this dashboard once we log in in our SiteGround account. And from here, we need to go to websites. And this is the panel where it will show all the websites that we are going to host with this hosting plan. So as we are going to add a new one, so we click on new website. And here we again get an option to book a new domain or we can link our existing domain with this hosting account. Or if you want to just see how everything works, how you can use the hosting panel and various other stuff, you can use the temporary domain from here. And once you connect your domain, we will land up on this page where we can either start a new website or we can migrate already existing WordPress website to our SiteGround account. But right now we are going to build everything from scratch. So we are going to click on start new website and then click on select from here. And after that, we can choose whatever application we want to install. So here we have option for WordPress. We can install WordPress along with WooCommerce. That is the e-commerce plugin for WordPress. Or we can also install Weebly Site Builder. But right now, let's go ahead and install WordPress from here. So we click on select. And here we need to enter the email address that we are going to use to log in in our WordPress setup. And after that, we need to enter the password to log in in our WordPress backend. So I would highly recommend that you go ahead and click on generate so that you can have a strong password for your login. And after that, we just need to click on continue. 
And after that, we have an option to add site scanner as an additional service. So we can go ahead and skip that and click on finish. Now it's going to take a few seconds to do all the backend stuff and we will be ready with our fresh WordPress copy installed on our SiteGround hosting server. All right, so we are done with our setup and here we have three options. We can go and visit the front end of our website. So let's click on this. So this is how the WordPress front end looks like and we are going to customize everything here. And after that, we have an option to access the WordPress backend. So we can click on this and it will take us to the WordPress backend. But let's go ahead and click on websites. And here we have our website, which we have just created on the SiteGround hosting server. So in order to log in in the WordPress backend, we can simply choose the WordPress admin button right here. Let's click on this. And this is going to redirect us to the backend of our WordPress setup. So here is the welcome screen of WordPress starter from SiteGround itself. So let's click on exit this wizard. And here we are in a fresh copy of our WordPress setup. All right, so once we are done with setting up WordPress on our hosting server, it's time to install the DV theme. Now, in order to download the DV theme, we need to go to elegantthemes.com. And once you are done with the purchase, you just need to click on my accounts and then click on product downloads. And it's going to take you to the members area and in the themes and plugin section, here you can see the download Divi theme button. So let's click on this. And this is going to download the zip file for the Divi theme. And once we have downloaded the zip file, we now need to go back to our WordPress backend and go to appearance and then click on themes. And here right now we have the default 2024 theme. So let's go ahead and click on add new theme. And then we will click on upload. And then we will choose the zip file that we have just downloaded. So let's click on this and here is a zip file that we have just downloaded. Let's select that and then click on install now. All right. So now the theme is installed. Let's go ahead and activate the DV theme. So we are going to click on activate button from here. And now we have installed DV theme on our WordPress setup. Now the next step is to activate the DV license so that we can start using the DV theme on this website. Now, in order to activate our license key, we can go to the left hand side navigation and here we have theme options. Let's click on that. And from here, we need to go to updates and here we need to enter our username as well as our API key. So once again, we need to go to elegantthemes.com and in my account section, I will go to username and API key. And here we have the username. So we click on this and it will get copied automatically and then come back here and paste it under the username section. And for the API keys, I'm just going to click on this key here, which is again going to get copied automatically. And then come back here in my backend and then paste the API key here and click on save changes. And with that, we have successfully activated Divi license on this WordPress setup. Now, just in case, if you want to use Divi on multiple websites, so you can go ahead and generate separate API key for each website you're working on. So for that, you need to come back here in your members account and under API keys, we have an option to generate new API key. So this is going to give you a new unique API key that you can use on any other website. And just for your reference, you can also add a label here, which makes it easy for you to track the API key, which you are using on a particular website. So by now, I'm sure you got a clear idea about what a WordPress theme is and how you can choose the right one for your website. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.